Well, I'm here at the Antelope Camera System stand here at IBC 2016. I've got Gert with me. Hi, Gert. Hi. Uh, now, what are we looking at here? This looks all very fascinating. Well, this is a little mini high-speed camera, which is our main product. This is uh, built for mainly for sports, uh, for positions where you can't be with any other bigger high-speed camera. Camera runs up to 350 frames. We have an instant replay that you can immediately see the live action in slow motion. And we have a specialized on the camera. It's as well, it's a size, of course, yeah. here. And uh, the size is uh, so small that you can hook it on a post, on a high jump post, or uh, behind a goal. And of course, in this position, you never get any other cameras uh, slow motion. And we have some special things, uh, and replay controller and uh, complete shading controller for the engineer. Uh, we can split this, that two pe people can operate the camera. Uh, it's an internal buffer yeah. in the CCU, and um, yeah, it's a. Uh, we get stunning footage out of this. Uh, we shot a couple of soccer stuff, and we were in Rio, which was great for us, um, and uh, for athletic and all the other stuff. And it's a two-shot sensor, technical-wise. It's uh, everything. Uh, we can set up everything like a big Sony camera. That means it's controllable and all the color matching. You can easily match it to the other cameras. And uh, yeah, we are the only people in the world who can offer the camera this fantastic system. Yeah. Now, something about high speed, of course, is light flicker. Something with high-speed photography and yeah. high-speed video is an issue with flickering lights. That's right. And you have a solution for that? Yeah, we have a solution. Which is? Uh, we have a, for the little camera, we have an inbuilt built flicker right. algorithm, which we eliminate nearly every flickering. Yeah. And for other camera, we have built a standalone unit, okay. and um, which we sell, uh, of course, uh, quite good because it's the only solution in the world and there's for Ikigami cameras, for Phantom cameras, or also for Sony ones, the new ones with 240 frames, yeah. you can use it in 1080 wow. and oh well, it's quite not so bad and yeah. I'm really proud of it. And yeah. Over here we've got some bigger cameras, tell us a bit about those. Yeah, it's the same technical stuff, it's yeah. also two shirt sensor but we built everything in a box style camera, it's yeah. an antelope compact. Yeah. And uh, well, it's better lens. Yep. It's everything integrated. It's for crane stuff or high-speed rail stuff, where every weight it's we have to. Well, it's you can't do it with big, huge, heavy cameras because you have a lot of movements in, yep. and you can put it on a steady cam if you want, and you can run high speed. And important for the user is you have always a live output. Yep. That's you can always use a live image, and on the other side you have this replay output, which you can split in different banks, that you have different banks to record. You can simultaneously play out in slow motion and record the next take, which gives you the possibility that you don't lose any great shot. Yeah, that's great. Now, if people haven't been able to see you here at IBC and they want to find out some more information about your camera systems, what's the website they can go to? It's uh, antelope-cs.de. Yeah, thank you. Great. Brilliant, thank you very much. Uh, go and have a look. The link is on screen now if you want to go and find out some more about the Antelope camera systems. They are brilliant, I have to say. Um, don't forget to check out everything else we've done here at IBC 2016. You'll find that on our website, kitplus.com.